of New Day Cleveland, our very special trip to Canton, Ohio, and we're talking ice cream right now. When you go to Canton, you say ice cream, they say Taggart. So we're going to go in the back and see what's happening with Ernie and uh, the crew. <laughs> I almost have to ask because I bet you're, right. helps, yeah. you're probably making more flavors and make-up flavors too, right? And Doug will make up flavors. Uh, what is it, Doug? During uh, like February, you make cherry cordial. Yeah, cherry cordial, or not cherry cordial, it's not for St. Patrick's Day. Cherry cordial, uh, pistachio, because it's free, and then I think uh, you might get this ice cream. Get us! How do you start that? Tell me how you start that. I just had a customer ask me, and I started cooking the beer in here, and then I had to change the risk of every year and started boiling it, so I could get the more flavor out and take the alcohol out. But I've changed the risk of being not gotten affected, where I got people calling her in for it, they're really excited. So it's, somebody told me before you made ice cream, you were a plumber. Yeah. So you, you can yeah. do it all. Oh, yeah. So I can have to have, to have some skills to be making ice yeah. cream here. Yeah. Yeah. So this is your dad. Father. Father. Father-in-law. Father yeah. Oh, so this is a real family business. We've got two daughters, yeah. and our daughter's married to my youngest daughter, and my other son. Well, we have a Taggart's ice cream in that coin. Hey, so when I talked to people about Taggart's ice cream, I, I said, I'm going to some ice cream place. I said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Taggart's. He says, you're not going for ice cream, you're going for Taggart's. What? We did the ice cream man. Yeah. I've never talked to you about the Hall of Fame. We were there. We're there. That's the guy who was telling me. He says, Taggart's is not just plain ice cream, that's Taggart's oh, ice yeah. cream. The Hall of Fame, we used to be real good friends with the Lamar Hutt from uh -huh. Kansas City Chiefs. I don't know if you knew that or not. No, he used to bring the Hall of Famer show when they got their jackets. And get the Bittner for them. The Bittner? What's a Bittner? We'll show you the Bittner. I love that I walked into the place because it reminded me of a whole time ice cream parlor store kind of place like you might see in the movies. I mean, you don't see them like this anymore, do you? No, no. Not much. Not much. And all the booths on the other side, those are the originals. And we've taken them out and had them refinished and brought back in. So this is like the old school ice cream fountain here, huh? Yes, sir. This was actually started in 1926 by Joe Taggart. 1926? This is the original fountain here. It's probably a different young lady, though, huh? Different young lady, and I'm a different person, too. Hey, is it? So this will be a fun place to have the kids work, too. Well, we hire all high school and college students here. Yeah. And so it's been great for us. Okay, what's this big Bittner thing I've been hearing well, about? Well, the Bittner's made now here with our uh, vanilla ice cream, which is homemade. Okay. It's made with, uh, we still use the 14% butter fat, which was originally used by Joe Taggart. And the Bittner actually goes back to about 1931 is when it was uh, uh -huh. actually originated. And today she's going to make one here, and it takes about three quarters of a pound of vanilla ice cream, which is oh, homemade. That's big. There you go. How many people are uh, supposed to have a Bittner? Well, everybody has to have a Bittner. Now, one, one per person? One or? per person. You have to at least have one. Whoa, that, that sounds like an attack to waistline, huh? And now, no, there's no calories in this now. You know, you're just working on the like that. Now what she's gonna do is she's gonna put our homemade chocolate sauce into it. How do you make homemade chocolate sauce? Well, we have it downstairs. We also make our own down there. Uh -huh. We have the recipe that we capture from Joe Kahn. That's the secret, secret recipe, huh? Secret recipe oh, from I Joe knew it. it. I knew it. We can't let it up. What else happens in here? Okay, we'll now, away. now we have our own Bittner machine here, which is a special machine with a three-quarter horse motor on because there's no milk in this. This is just the ice cream oh. and the chocolate sauce. Special machine. You can't, you can't just use a regular milk shake machine. So this is probably like, like quite a mixed collar kind of machine. There you go. Now this is where you get the workout. You know? Yeah. Look at her go. So, so the kids like these or the adults like these? Oh, everybody. Everybody yeah. likes them. Everybody has a Bittner. Hey, Ernie, how did you get the name Bittner? Bittner came from back in about 1931. There used to be a ball team that had, uh, they were sponsored by a Bittner store, grocery store here in Canton. Uh huh. And they sponsored this ball team and the ball team used to come in here and get milkshakes. Well they wanted something heavier than a milkshake. So they designed the bitter. And how the bitter was designed, they kept taking the milk out of it until you could actually take this spoon and drop it into it where the spoon would not move. There it is. There it stands. There's the bitter. Okay. Okay, Emily, see if you how do you serve it up? Okay. Glass. There's the bitter in the frosted glass. It's like, I think Wendy's trying to copy this from you. I don't think so. I, I bet it, it didn't taste like it. It didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. So it's called Taggart. What street are we in here? This is Fulton Road. Fulton Road? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're miles, 
You're putting nuts on this. This is the pecans we put on top. These are pecans. Whoa, look at this baby. Now, this is also a special recipe of the pecans. Emily, you're an artist. There we go. And that's it, huh? I guess all we need now is a spoon. Look at this. So here's the bittener. So where, where do you start? What do you think? Well, Whoops, I lost a nut. Don't laugh out there. You can't lose those now because those are the, the special. Those are special. These are the special taste. Very good. Thank you very much. Guess what? We're not done. We've got a whole lot more coming from our Canton show here, New Day Cleveland, right after the break. This is delicious. Emily, you're the star. So this is a cyclone or a tornado? A tornado.